Hi, I'm Evan Curtis. I'm a second year master's student in the Institute of Cognitive Science here at Carleton University. We're here in the uh, eye tracker room of the Mathematical Cognition Lab in the Center for Applied Cognitive Research. And uh, this is one of the uh, newer lines of research that we've been using in this lab. Typically in this uh, lab we uh, examine how people can develop arithmetic skills based on their representation of numbers. So we study stuff as high up as how people retrieve multiplication and addition facts, all the way down to how people just represent the magnitude of a number three. What we're doing with this camera here, which uh, sends an infrared light towards people's eyes and records the reflection off the cornea so we can tell where they're looking on the screen, uh, is to see where people are looking when they're doing things like estimating the number of objects on the screen or calculating uh, mathematical problems. Uh, it's a fairly new line of research in mathematical cognition, so we don't really know what it can tell us, which is kind of exciting because we get to explore exactly what's going on. So what else does your research tell you? Well, something else that we do in the lab is, apart from just testing uh, adults and university students, we also test children and test the development of arithmetic skills, which uh, has some pretty major implications in the education world. Uh, because children are having more and more problems with math, it's really important to understand uh, the precursors to mathematical skills, things such as counting on your fingers or being able to count a small number of objects. Uh, if we understand how these basic cognitive processes work, we can help inform the education world and hopefully develop some children with some stronger math skills. Do you find that kids' math skills are actually declining then? Uh, at the very initial levels, uh, things like kindergarten and grade one children, we don't see a lot of decline because uh, the, the skills that are being taught are pretty much the same, but once people start to learn arithmetic facts, such as uh, addition multiplication facts, because schools aren't really drilling those facts anymore, uh, people don't know those facts and we see a decline in even higher level mathematics. It starts right at the beginning. Do you think that's because there's too much of a reliance on calculators, for example? I think that's definitely part of it. Uh, another part of it is that uh, Teachers tend to uh, emphasize conceptual learning in mathematics now, which is important, but it's also important to understand that those just mem that memory for just facts is important. So if you had a message to give to elementary school teachers, what would you actually say? I would say that children need to learn their multiplication tables. They need to actually memorize those basic addition facts, because if they don't have that information to scaffold on, they're going to have trouble in higher level mathematics.